PCO and white discharge and menstrual irregularities and menstrual hygiene. This is not a health talk, it's about us. I thought that is much more interesting and reading about this was extremely interesting so I thought I should share this with all of you. So, uh, can I? I don't know how many of you can see the screen well enough but if you have corners of the screen, on one side you have a whole lot of Indian women who have achieved. I mean I don't have to tell you the names, all of you would know if you see that. On the other hand, you have this lady working in a farm, in the midst of a field. She also has hopes and aspirations. Not just to cut the grain and go back home and sleep. But have we ever asked her what she wants? The other women who have achieved have actually had opportunities to study in good schools, in good colleges like all of us and who have reached some place. But this woman will sadly end her life at the age of 50 or 60 and that's it. She will be an unsung hero. Next slide. Why is it celebrated? Because it's a focal point in women's rights movements. So, there are movements all over the world which champion women's causes. But somewhere we have to crystallize and get it together and say, today is the day, now is the moment. So let us try and think. It's not a question of just celebration. It's a question of an opportunity to sit and think what is there, what can be done, what can be done better. So this is just an opportunity for all of us and especially the previous one. And especially, <coughs> I think one more. No, I think not too far. Yeah. And especially the most important things that we have to think about are gender equality. We have been hearing about this for years and years. Reproductive rights of women, which is totally ignored. Violence and abuse, abuse against women, which is actually becoming more common nowadays than it was, say, 20, 30 years ago. Next. So the theme this year is digital. Digit, digital, digit all. So while they're getting it, so what happens over the years we have spoken about equality. Can we mix Tamil and English or okay, yeah. So we have always spoken about Healthcare, I think it's, it's one industry which is 
always surrounded about having more females and promoting them. But of course, I would always say that it's important that we always give them the right platforms within the industry to move forward. And I hope as things move forward, there are many more stars are born within this country and things go forward. Uh, my favorite topic at this point in time is more for related to uh, ensuring leadership with women coming forward. And one specific area which I always feel is lacking in leadership is nursing. And if you notice, if you come to a hospital, uh, one third of my manpower in a hospital is nurses. And if you see in US, uh, nursing leadership uh, is very high. The reason I'm saying that is that every nurse which recruits into a healthcare system has got almost 32 platforms to grow within an organization to become a leader. But in India, the sad part is that a nurse can maximum become a nursing head, which is two or three levels of growth in terms of leadership. You can't point out a nurse CEO who has grown in the industry. There is one exception there. I will always say that. One or two. One I know personally. But I have never seen somebody going up to that level. But if I say knowledge wise today in healthcare, after doctors, about healthcare and business that I don't understand much of science. I understand more of business. But a nurse, probably after a doctor who is in the epitome of healthcare, understands much better how the entire advances of healthcare works. But a nurse never progresses beyond a certain limit in healthcare. I think that's a sad story of Indian healthcare system in this case. I for one believe, I think the day should come when we have more nurse leaderships coming out of it and the organization which promotes that will be the organization which stands tall over a period of time is what my belief is. And I would like to see more people choosing nursing as a profession which is a dying profession at this stage. I think that's something which is also going down as things go forward. And it was estimated that over the period of next a decade, we won't have any great nurses available in India because that's not a preferred choice of, uh, I would say, preferred career option at this stage. So I urge, right, we need to see every department or every vertical where women are working to have a larger hierarchy towards growth of leadership. And that should happen. I think all of us should take initiative in doing that. The institution should take initiative, you know, developmental programs which can actually develop more women leaders, you know, and that should happen over a period of time is what my belief is. And I, I, I live for a day when I see more people, more leaders, women leaders come up front and lead organizations in much more diverse systems, you know, rather than just looking at a CEO of a Pepsi or maybe become happy about an IMF chief becoming a lady and we all celebrate about it. But that's that's one far and few. Uh, hopefully that day will come and I think many of you will become super leaders in the next decade. And we will listen to all of you, how things, how your journey has been. All the best to you. Have a great day ahead. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Center, center, look. No, 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 no. Look at that, look at that.